Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Can you believe it? There's a baby! It still feels so unreal. Thank you so much for all the love. If you haven't seen the birth vlog yet, I will leave it linked down below. The baby has officially arrived and I thought it would be a good idea to kind of do like a little recap video, talk about some deleted scenes, what happened, just kind of more details behind Crystal's birthing process. The way that I edited the video, I wanted it to be more not so educational even though most of the series has kind of been educational but for the birth vlog I really wanted it to be special there were some things that happened that didn't make it into the video and some things that I feel like I should explain a little bit more that's what this video is gonna be it's gonna be like a little birth recap if you haven't watched the official birth vlog though I do suggest watching that one first before watching this one or you can do whatever you want but I will leave it linked down below for you in case you haven't watched it okay so we're gonna start off from the beginning as you guys know crystal fold out at an equine reproduction and folding set Center. I vlogged the whole thing, taking her there, dropping her off, all of that. So she was at a professional facility that specializes in folding out mares. They've actually been folding out mares for over 20 years. So that's where I took her. It's called Buena Vista Farm. Dr. Carolyn has been her repro vet. Um, so if you followed along on the series, you guys already know that. But anyway, that's where she was. That's where she had her baby. That night, when you saw me running like a maniac at 2 in the morning over to the barn. You guys, it's 2 a.m. I think Crystal's folding this time for real. It was because a full alert started going off. So if you guys don't know what a full alert is, it's like this little magnet that sends an alert out whenever a mare starts going into labor. So the first night that I dropped Crystal off, that's the night that she actually got her full alert in. What part was that? In part nine. So I'll leave that one linked down below. So the thing about the full alert is you don't know what mare is actually foaling. You just know that there's a mare foaling. So once you get to the barn, you have to look at everyone to find out which one's the mare that's going into labor. So when I got to the barn, I passed right by Crystal and I I looked at her and she was just standing there in the stall just like standing there like nothing just looking at me like whoa why is she running in here like that you know even though I was a hundred percent positive it was crystal like I ran in there knowing it was crystal because she had just been showing signs for a couple of days and I just knew it was the day like I, I knew she was falling that's why I was actually all dressed up already if you guys saw I was in jeans at 2 a.m. in the morning instead of pajamas that's because after work I just showered and put that on just because I'm like you know what I think tonight might be the night and I fell asleep and I never changed so when I woke up I was already Already in my jeans, already ready. So that's how you know I knew it was gonna be her. So when I get to the barn and I see her and she's just standing there without a care in the world, I'm like, okay, maybe it's not her. So I ran down the barn aisle looking into every stall to see what mare was falling. Who is it? Hi, Mama. Not Crystal. Never mind. False alarm. And then I found another mare that was laying down in her stall. So I'm like, okay, it must be this mare, right? Crystal's just standing there. This mare's laying down. So I kind of just figured, okay, the one that's laying down is the one that's probably going into labor, right? But no. <laughs> Behind me, two of the other employees were arriving and they checked Crystal first. Just because, like I said, we all knew Crystal was going to fold like any day. So they just checked her first. And it turns out she was the one that was folding. So I was on the other end of the barn and I'm like, wait, it's Crystal? What the heck? So I run back. Is me in serio? <gasps> At first we thought that she was scratching her butt and that it might be a false alarm So they were making sure that it was actually happening and she got checked first back there It wasn't it wasn't a false alarm. They actually saw stuff happening So they were like, okay move her into the folding stall She's gonna fold and then when I did that like when I heard her say that I'm like, oh my god Oh my god, but I, I moved her over to the folding stall thinking that she was gonna fold But I didn't know she was gonna fold like right then and there I thought she just meant like okay, she's gonna fall sometime tonight so let's just move her over to the falling stall that's why there's a part in the video where I'm like wait it's happening right now <laughs> Oh, it's up parida ahora. Oh my gosh. I don't think I included that, but I will put snippets of all the deleted scenes within this video. But yeah, I just thought, okay, we're moving her over just so that she's already in the falling stall when she actually starts falling. But I didn't realize it was happening like right then and there. And it was actually happening like right then and there. I had so much adrenaline. I was so excited. I was so nervous. But like I said, I was trying to keep my composure. I didn't want to be like a crazy person, even though it seems like I'm being a crazy person in that video. It's happening. 
it's 2 13 in the morning oh my god it's happening like right now you guys and you guys have to remember this was a long process it's edited down to fit into a 15 minute video but it didn't just happen that fast like what you guys are seeing are just like the most important parts because if not you guys would have been watching I don't know like a two hour long video but yeah it was quite a process and we moved her over to the folding stall it was so funny because when I passed by her stall her face was like why is she running in here like a maniac you know <laughs> so I'm like you know what let me check all the other mares before I come back to crystal just in case it's not her so anyway we move her over to the folding stall and they start removing the full alert and you guys crystal was pushing she was grunting you can see her belly contracting it was intense I was like oh, my poor baby like can you guys imagine just the pain of labor poor thing <laughs> Oh my gosh. She's pushing already. And it was her first time, so she was probably like, what is happening to me? Like, she was probably thinking she was gonna die or something, but yeah, she was she was really pushing and grunting, and oh my gosh. We actually had to check to make sure that the baby was in the correct position. So whenever you guys see one of the employees standing behind Crystal, she's actually making sure that the baby is coming out in the correct position. We were a little bit worried because she was pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing for so long, yet the baby wasn't coming. <laughs> But thankfully, as you guys saw, everything turned out all right. But whenever you guys see one of the employees standing behind Crystal, she's just making sure that the foal is in the correct position because if you wait too long, then you can't fix the foal if it is in the incorrect position. I'm not a professional, but I'm gonna try and like talk about what I've learned. I might be saying things all wrong, using the wrong vocabulary, whatever. I'm not a veterinarian, but the correct way for a foal to come out is both legs in front. One hoof is usually in front of another, and then the head is supposed to be right in between. Not in between like this, but just kind of like right on top and that's how the foal exits the mom so if let's say the foal's like this and she's pushing and that's why he's not coming out you have to try and catch that as soon as possible and fix the foal so that everything comes out smoothly if you wait too long sometimes there are complications and it's a lot easier to manipulate the foal while it's still inside the mom so that's why we checked crystal to make sure that yes the foal was in the correct position so another thing we were worried about was she kept on getting up I cut a lot of those parts out just because it would have been really long but she just kept on getting up every time she would lay down she would stand back up then she would lay down she would stand back up lay down again stand back up and we were a little bit worried that she would fall standing which is normal but it is better for them to do it laying down especially for a maiden mare so I was like begging her I'm like crystal just lay down like stay down you have to lay down Oh my girl, you have to lay down. But obviously they lay down to position the foal themselves. Just naturally, the mares lay down, get up, lay down to help position the foal. So it's just nature, instinct. But we were a little bit worried and we wanted to make her feel a little bit more comfortable to see if maybe that would help her relax and stay down long enough to foal. So that's why we turned off the lights. As you can see, there's some parts where the lights are off and there's parts where you can see I turn on the lights. And that was for that specific reason. We were trying to make her feel comfortable, you know, make things quieter and more relaxed relaxing for her to see if that would help her kind of relax and stay down for a while. Everything seems like it happened so fast in the video just because it's edited but it took quite a while. Finally she laid down and she started pushing and you guys she did so good. She was great. She was a good mama. <laughs> I was a little bit nervous because there was one mare there while I was staying there that didn't push at all and it was like it was a complicated labor because she just wasn't pushing. She was just laying there. So in my head I'm like oh my gosh she's pushing. Yay Crystal push push push. <laughs> she was doing so good you guys and you can hear her grunting and pushing and breathing and I was just like oh my gosh this is so intense <laughs> Finally, the baby came. It was honestly so beautiful. I just, I can't believe it. He's the cutest little thing. He's so smart. And after it happened, after the baby came out, Crystal was in so much pain. You know, it's her first baby. So she just kind of got up, walked over to the other side of the barn and laid down again to rest. I think she was in so much pain that she didn't even realize that there was a baby behind her. So I just went over to her, as you guys saw. I gave her some scratches, you know, told her how good she did. <laughs> she also got some banamine. And then once she started feeling a little bit better, she got up, turned around, and saw her baby for the first time. <laughs> you guys, it was so magical. It was so beautiful. I'm just so grateful that I was able to catch it all on camera. Can you believe it? Like, when this baby is two years old, we can all look back to the day it was born and just the love Crystal had for her baby. Like, it was crazy. And I was actually very nervous because actually I wasn't that nervous because I knew from the beginning that she would be a great mom. Like, I said it throughout this 
whole series, I'm like, Crystal's gonna be such a great mom. She's gonna be so good. I knew everything was gonna go great. She's just a great horse and I knew she would be a great mom. But I was a little bit curious to see what her reaction would be like because for a horse to have a baby for the first time, you know, to just see what they think is happening or just their reaction to something that came out of them, like, you know? And the cool thing about being at the foaling vet was that she did get to see a lot of mares give birth. So I feel like that kind of prepared her a little bit. I'm wondering if she didn't see that, would she still have had the same reaction or would she have been like more weirded out? Um, but because she got to see so many foals, like they would walk past her stall with their mom. She was the stall right across the foaling stall. So she saw so many mares give birth. So I'm wondering if that kind of helped her understand a little bit more what was happening. But it would have been cool to see what her reaction would have been like if she didn't get to experience all that. But anyway, she turned around and she was so curious. She was so gentle. Like she came up so slowly. She sniffed her baby. Like it was just the cutest thing ever. When she stood up, she broke the umbilical cord. So we sprayed it down with a Novasan. It's like a disinfectant for the umbilical cord. If you watched the first night of the vlog, part 10, we actually got to see a birth that wasn't crystal. And that's kind of like a more educational vlog if you guys want to see that one. And Dr. Carolyn explained every part of the process, why things are done, all that stuff in that video. So Crystal's video is more of like a story, an emotional thing. If you guys want to see a more educational birthing video, definitely check out part 10. I'll leave a link down below as well. But yeah, there was a part where I actually kneeled down on all the blood and the birth juices. It was like all over my jeans. You guys, I just like <laughs> kneeled down on all the blood and juices. I didn't notice. <laughs> you guys, I literally kneeled in all the birth juices, but it's okay. But at that time, like I didn't even care. Like I just thought it was funny because you could tell how excited I am and how emotional I am and how just my, my head's like everywhere else that I didn't even realize. Like I literally just went down right where she gave birth. <laughs> but yeah, that was funny. Anyway, the baby arrived and you guys, he's the cutest, the smartest little baby. He was like trying to get up so soon after. I had been there for a month and I got to see so many mares give birth. A lot of the foals take a while to stand up. You know, sometimes they just want to rest and lay there. But he was so eager to stand. He did rest and he did lay there, but compared to all the other foals that I saw, he got up a lot quicker than the other ones. And it was so cute to watch him try and he kept on falling. And also like once he got up, he went straight to where he needed to go. He went right to Crystal, right where the udder is. Once he actually got there though, he did struggle to find it, but he was in the right area, you know? I was just like, oh my God, he's so smart. <laughs> like a proud mom. Anyway, the baby got his bottle of colostrum. If you guys have been following along on the series, you know that we were worried that Crystal had lost all her colostrum because she had just been dripping for so long. So he did get his bottle of colostrum. They actually let me try to bottle feed him for a second and it just wasn't working out. I don't know what I was doing wrong or if he was already full or what, but yeah, it was, it was so cute. It was such an amazing experience. It was the most beautiful thing ever. Crystal loves her baby, you guys. She is obsessed with him. And that night, just watching her smell him and just to investigate him, it was so, so magical. He's the cutest little thing in the world. I'm so happy that everything was fine. Everything was normal. Like, I'm, I'm very grateful. And I'm honestly so just excited that we'll have this video to look back on. And the fact that I was able to film it and bring you guys along, like, how crazy is that? Like, it's been an incredible journey and to finally reach the part that we were all waiting for is just so crazy. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I can't wait for you guys to see more of him. There will be a name reveal coming. Stay tuned for part two of that night. There is a part two. I actually didn't go to bed for hours after that and I filmed everything that happened right after. So definitely wait for that. Stay tuned. The series is not over. There's a lot more stuff coming. Thank you guys for being a part of the journey and I will leave all the videos I've talked about in the description down below. If you guys like this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Cindy Valentina. I would love for you to join. All you gotta do is just click that red subscribe button. If you wanna see this whole series from the beginning, if you wanna see the whole story, where it started, how it happened, just like everything that has led up to this moment, I will leave the playlist link down below. It's called My Pregnant Horse and everything's in order from like the day she got pregnant. <laughs> so definitely check it out. And yeah, here is my notification shout out. Thank you guys so much for commenting. I love reading your comments. It was amazing to be able to look through the comments and just see your excitement and to know that you guys share in that excitement with me and it was just, it's really cool. So thank you so much for your comments. If you do want to be shouted out, all you got to do is just turn on your post notifications by just clicking the bell down below and then you just leave me a comment letting me know that you've done it and that is it. You might be shouted out in one of my videos. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Stay tuned for more exciting videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye!